Who we got with us this morning? Corey. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Mr. Corey. Um, well, I grew up in uh, South County, St. Louis. Stayed there, grew up, lived with my parents until I was 21. I went to Lindbergh High School, a Lindbergh school kid. Um, Towards the end of high school, uh, started getting into drugs. Who introduced you to that lifestyle, Mr. Corey? Uh, one of my ex-girlfriends. What did it start with? Uh, Xanax. And it progressed more and more. Did you graduate? Mm -hmm. Where did, um, after graduation, where did you go in your life? Uh, I went to, to Merrimack and uh, did a couple semesters there and it wasn't really, wasn't enough college for me. But I couldn't um, afford anything higher, so kind of just stopped and uh, got a job a couple years ago working on houses and that kind of fell through and then I just got kind of stuck out in this area for the last couple of, like the last year or so. What kind of household did you come from? Did you both be your parents present in the household? Yeah. Um, They're still married. What did your mom and dad teach you growing up, or what are some of the mores and values that they instilled in you while you were growing up? I mean, all the normal things, like common sense, everything parents should teach you. I, don't, I can't think of anything, you know, offhand, like, don't do drugs, don't steal, all that, you know, be a good person. And for the most part, I am, I try to be. Other people will pay me as not, so they can, I don't know, this, this area is kind of weird. They, they, they twist their own reality. They can't, they're too high to see what's actually going on. They miss half of the shit that goes on. And then they think they know what's going on. What brought you to this area from South County? Like what made you pick this area? Or like what was the situation? The, the house, they work in the houses. And then my boss died. And uh, I didn't know any of his connections, his people that he worked through. So that just kind of fell apart. But I was still living in a house that he managed and we were working on. And then a fire, there, there was a fire in the house three times. And didn't have anywhere else to go actually. So, what are some of the um, challenges you faced being in this area from South County and now you're in the city? Like, what are some of the challenges you face? Um, making money. For real. It's difficult to do without, you know, having phone, a place that's like an address, a mailing address, a steady number that your work or whoever can call you at if you want to get a job. Having an ID is impossible, keep, keeping an ID is impossible out here because everyone wants to steal your fucking wallet. What kind of skills do you have? Um working on house like you have labor skills and who taught you those skills? 
myself. It's all pretty straightforward stuff. I uh, taught myself how to uh, rewire an entire house, and that's why I did that. And the house still caught fire. I put the meter box in, the, the breaker box. With my bare hands, clamped the meter box to the power lines. People think that it's gonna shock you and kill you. It, it don't feel good, but it's the ones that go to your house aren't the ones that are gonna kill you. And you taught yourself that. Mm -hmm. What other uh, skills do you have? Do you, are you a carp? Do you do carpentry work? Do you mm -hmm. do roof work? Do you? So what don't you do? Like that might be a better question. What don't you do pertaining to a house? Like what skills don't you have? Foundation. Okay. Um, brick lane. And you're self-taught with all of this. No schooling, no training. No schooling, no training. Just watching somebody, somebody else do it, and that was just on a humbug because I was bored. I made, started making money with it, so I stuck with it and kept teaching myself. What did your dad do for a living? He was, uh, he was a union uh, sprinkler fitter. You ever thought about going back to South County or are you just going to try to... Uh, I'm moving to Lake of the Ozarks. Lake of the Ozarks? When, is, when are you making that move? What's the plan once you get to the Lake of the Ozarks? Cleaning yachts. My friend owns a business, uh, cleaning yachts, and he has mobile mechanics business. I'm taking mechanics out to you. Since the car doesn't run, instead of having a tow truck come out and get your stuff, living out in the Lake of the Ozarks, take the shop there. Yeah. The car there. You're excited about that? Yeah, because I, I really like to work on cars. More so than houses. That's what I that's what I, I really know a lot more about is working on cars. What kind of advice could you provide a a, a young guy thinking about coming to the city from South County, thinking he's gonna have his way around here and do what he wants to do? What would you advise? He's gonna get robbed a lot. And if he doesn't learn from that, he's going to keep getting robbed. That's just what's going to happen. Because he's going to trust the wrong people and they're going to take advantage of that so quick. What's the danger level out here? Exactly that. They'll take advantage of anybody they can. If you can go back, knowing what you know today, and talk to a young Mr. Corey, what would you tell them? There was a time that I, crazy enough, accidentally stopped uh, my addiction. but I went back onto it. So my advice would be don't relapse. And in, in closing, Mr. Corey, we appreciate you taking time out with us. If there's anything you want to share, any advice, any wisdom, any knowledge you want to leave us with in closing, um, anybody worried about you wondering if you're okay, if you want to say anything to them, anything you want to say in closing, now's the time. I'm fine, I actually talk to my family. Okay. Well, we wish you all the best, Mr. Corey, and we thank you for taking time out with us to share. Thank you.